Hello friends, in today's uh, editorial, there is one more uh, editorial that is called the past cannot be undone through a re-christining. So this is about the recent NDA's policies to rename some of the ancient uh, streets, some of the ancient cities that are related to the Mughals and deletion of some texts that is present in NCRTs. So what he is telling is, in short, he is telling that by changing the names of few places or by changing the syllabus of NCRTs or by renaming the cities, you are not going to erase the past. In this context, this article was taken. So what is the spoken? What are the things that you have to focus? In recent things, what is happening in the world about Islamophobia? There has been an increasing threat to the Muslims across the world and recognizing this threat against the Muslims, the United Nations in the year 2022 has declared March 15th as International Day to Combat Islamophobia. So don't be in the phobia that every Muslim is a terrorist or every Muslim is an alien. So in this context, they wanted to spread huge relationships between the Muslim communities with other communities. In this context, so this is the broader framework. March 15th is celebrated as the way to combat in, uh, Islamophobia. So what are the things that are happening in India from 2015? From 2015, lynching is happening from Dadri to Delhi. The second one is uh, dargahs are frequently under attack, masks are frequently under attack, hijab incidents has taken place that is pro-hijab groups, anti-hijab groups and uh, there are some groups who have vociferously raged against one another and there was desperate names to bid and rename the places of sultans and streets and there is increasing demand for changing the syllabus in the so-called uh, NCRTs. Even in this context, a country like multi-religious country like India, it is important to remember that past cannot be undone through re-christening. Just by changing the names, you cannot do anything. So, in a harmonious country, if you want to be very harmonious, what you have to do is, it is wise to appreciate what is present in the past and not to repeat the mistakes that was done in the past. So, earlier, people used to say history is boring, but today history is becoming decisive. So, uh, it should divisive. Divisive should not be, divisibility should not be accepted as a part of history at any point of time and hence he is saying that retribution does not pave the path to uh, redemption. So if you want to redempt the great history, retribution is not the way, vengeanceful attack is not the way. This is what the article is speaking. In short it is uh, related to the so called how brotherhood can be developed, how we have to learn from the history. These are the things. Thanks for joining.